whole flock of turkeys on the path. Let's see if I can catch up to them before they fly. They're off to the races. A turkey can run, a lot of people don't notice, a turkey can run 35 miles an hour. It can fly, it can fly close to 40. And uh, they tend to run before they fly. They can fly at uh, five days old also, which is a major uh, defense to uh, be safe because they'll roost in trees as young as five. And uh, these guys are off, they ran. I bet they never flew because you can hear, I see them up there, way, way up. Um, they can, uh, yeah, there they go. Actually, it looks like a bunch of young males. I don't know if you can see it, but their heads are red. Females' heads are gray. Uh, turkeys are native. Uh, this is uh, one of the five subspecies. This is uh, in Florida. These are the Osceolas. So it's uh, Malegris is their genus. Malegris galopavo um, is their subspecies. And the species of um, Osceola. And uh, they differ from the eastern turkey. I don't know if we're going to see them again, but they differ from the eastern turkey. Um, they're a little bit more colorful in plumage. They tend to be a little physically taller, um, I think because they're often in swamps and water and situations like that. This will be interesting because there's a... There's a boardwalk up here. It'll be interesting to see if they ran up the boardwalk or not. See them. They haven't taken flight. I'll try to speed up. But um, yeah, turkeys. Uh, they're a really cool animal. When I uh, hiked the Pinhoti, that name means turkey home uh, in the native Indian. Uh, no, there you go. They went across. Let me see. See his head. That's a male. Oh, here they are. They're all toms. Yeah, they're all toms. Toms are males. These are all mature males and are hot footing it through the swamp. So I alluded to them being a little taller because they'll walk through water and swamps. And I'm sure there'll be a lucky gator somewhere that may uh, have an opportunity. I wasn't sure if they'd go across this, this boardwalk, so that's pretty cool. I can see, you can see the, the uh, plumage when they get in the sun, they're really striking. And if you see them, I can see them with my eye. If you look where the sun is and you look back, see there's one right in the middle of the screen. But that's interesting, they walked right through the swamp. That was a good group of uh, males, tom turkeys. It's funny because they're about 100 yards away and I could tell they were males. Um, so maybe it opens up here where we have more of an opportunity see them or maybe it doesn't it's hard to say but uh boy today is a wildlife day there's a nice big one right there middle of your screen there's a dead palm frond and he's right he's moving now but i'm surprised they uh didn't fly they went right into the swamp and he's got a thin beard it looks like about eight or nine inches but uh you know those are those are male turkeys, those are all breeders. The males that are mature are called toms. Uh, the immature males are jakes. And uh, they're just a young tom and they have, don't have much of a beard. And their beard is looks like a really coarse hair, but it is, in all actuality, it's, uh, it's an adaptation from feathers. It's got a lot of carotene in it. And it serves no purpose other than just kind of helps delineate, you know, the sex. There's a nice, nice egret. Um, yeah, we're, we're kind of lost in the foliage, but they're kind of angled back there. But I just, the wildlife in here is phenomenal. Two bears today. Um, I'll post a, vo a video of the hogs. There's a ton of hogs, um, babies, adults. Um, Beautiful day. It was 59 when I left the car. Um, great Monday.